Hi friends. It's another video to talk about healthcare here in in Ecuador. I'm gonna tell you about it when I come back. Hey. Hello there. So this is part two, I guess, or maybe part three. I don't remember now. I've got other videos that I've talked about healthcare. Uh, about three weeks ago, I got I started walking in the early mornings uh, and on the beach. Okay, there's a little walk that I can take where I can go from my apartment here, go down the steps down to the beach. I can walk down to the where the where the docks are. And then I walk back up to uh, the boardwalk and then up to the Malacan and to the mall where I stop for breakfast. And that's about, always registers on my phone as about 2.1 miles. So it's a good little walk for me. It's enough for me considering the fact that back home I barely walked a mile. So after a couple of days of walking on the beach, I noticed that my legs, the, my shins, would would itch. You know, I thought, what the heck, man, I got into something, something was making my legs itch. You know, I, of course, I mean, you talk to people about stuff like that around here, and everybody has an opinion about what it is. And of course, one thing that you hear about a lot is sand fleas. So they say, don't walk in the sand, walk down on the packed sand down there closer to the water. Well, of course, I'm going to have to walk through the sand to get to there and then back off of the beach. But anyway, I kind of ignored it and I just went to, I went for about a week and then it started getting worse. I noticed that it was the type of itch that, it, it wasn't like a mosquito bite or a flea bite. It was more like if I scratched it, it felt good to scratch it. But then as soon as you stop scratching, then the itch intensifies and... Then it starts burning and it just gets worse. So anyway, I finally, somebody finally convinced me to go up to the clinic in the mall and they told me that it was some kind of dermatitis and they ruled out sand fleas and they said, they gave me a, a prescription for a cream to pick up and it's some kind of a, like a, I'll show it to you. It's, a, it's called Dermacortine. Dermacortine, that's it right there. And didn't do a damn thing for me. Put it on my legs, then 15, 20 minutes later, I'm scratching again. So anyway, I finally decided to, to go see a dermatologist and that's what this video is about. It's about seeing a dermatologist and talking to you about how the healthcare system works here in Ecuador and here in Monta. Somebody gave me the name of Dr. Ivan Tixi, T-I-X-I, dermatologist, well-known in Monta. I talked to a lot of people here and a lot of people refer to him. And so I decided to, to make an appointment with him. So guess what I did? I went on WhatsApp and I found him on WhatsApp, got his number, created a contact, and I contacted him directly and asked him, this was, uh, let's see, today's Saturday. This was Thursday night, Thanksgiving, or Thursday afternoon, late afternoon, early evening. And he responded directly to me and said he could see me 10 o'clock Friday morning. This is from the doctor himself, not from a nurse or a booking agent or an insurance company or anything like that. I wrote back to him and said, 10 o'clock, that's kind of right in the middle of my breakfast time. I'm gonna have to make that a little bit later. And he said, okay, 11 o'clock. <laughs> so I made my appointment for 11 o'clock. Truth of the matter is I had to go get some money and the mall doesn't open until 10. I'm eating breakfast at nine and I had to have time to go to the ATM machine, get cash and then go get a taxi and go find this guy. And so anyway, he sent me some pictures on WhatsApp of his office because nobody has addresses here, okay? It's not like 123 Easy Street, Monta, Ecuador. It's like at the corner of Calle so-and-so and Avenida so-and-so. And 
The best thing you can do at that point is find a taxi that will know where the hell this is and you take the taxi for a couple of bucks. And so yesterday I held a taxi outside of the mall and showed him the pictures and showed him the name and he was like uh, looking at my phone going blah, 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 blah. oh yeah it's easy <clears throat> and so he takes me to this neighborhood over in what looked like East Beirut here in Monta and dropped me off and said basically he said it's around here somewhere <laughs> so anyway so I said okay I'll find it I got out of the taxi and I'm walking around and of course, there's everybody in the world wants to help. So I'm going, no good, I said, no good, I said, I'm good, good. And so I went looking, and I, could, I couldn't find this guy's office to save my life. Even a little girl on the street that was peddling pharmaceuticals uh, tried to help me. And I, she showed me where to go on the map, but then I tried to explain or ask her, do I go to the right or do I go to the left? And she never, she, didn't understand what I was asking her so I thanked her and I just pretended that, that I'm all good and and I'll know what to do so anyway so I went on down the street around the corner and finally I looked at his picture of his office again and I recognized the building and I'd passed it earlier so I finally found my way up to where his office was found the picture went inside and stood there and looked stupid and the lady finally came up to me and and asked me in Spanish if she could help me. At least I think that's what she said. I don't really know what she said because it was all Spanish, but I showed her the picture of Dr. Tixie on my phone and she motioned to me up the stairs. So I knew I was in the right building and now all I had to do is just find his office. So I went upstairs and I looked at all the signs on the, on the doors in the hallway. I didn't see any Dr. Tixie. So what I did see finally, and I, I discovered this when I was sitting in a chair and I finally called him and tried to explain to him that I couldn't find his office. Open, right in front of me, a door opens and there, <laughs> there he is. And of course, the reason why I didn't see Dr. Tixie is because his name is Dr. Ivan Tixie Aviles, Av Av like you see right here. So, I was looking for the last name. I wasn't looking at the middle name. And then sure enough on the door, there it was. I knew it was in the right place. So anyway, I got to get in to see Dr. Tixie. He didn't speak very much English, but he had a translator on the phone with him, a nice young lady, and she spoke perfect English. And I was able to see him for the rash on my leg and then the spots on my forehead, my face, and... He actually made me take all my clothes off except for my skibbies, and he checked me from head to toe. And he looked at everything, and he didn't find anything to be alarmed. I wanted him to spray this little thing off right here that shows up in all my videos, drives me nuts. I tell people it's a horn starting to grow. And he, he didn't spray anything. He gave me a cream to put on and to rub it on and all these little spots and do that for a week and he said you'll feel it burning and he wasn't kidding about that and so and then he gave me another cream that I'll put on starting next week and that'll make these go away as far as the leg itching stuff on the leg that turned out to be a fungus so I picked up a fungus from something on the beach I have to research and see what that could have possibly been but there was something on the beach that transferred to my lower legs and gave me a fungus infection and so he gave me a cream to put on it and that stuff is called fintop fintop so it's a topical and he said use this for two weeks and <laughs> Here's the side of my head. Look at this little tiny tube. I'm supposed to make this last two weeks, he thinks. But anyway, so he gives me a prescription. Here it is here, okay. He actually wrote it out here. And he said, I had to go to this particular pharmacy to get this cream because apparently it's the only place in Monta that sells it or 
he has an interest in this <laughs> pharmacy. I don't know. But anyway, so the taxi took me to find this pharmacy. I spent $51.16 and got the medicine that I needed. And then he sent me on WhatsApp in English all the instructions for taking this medicine. All the stuff for my face and all the stuff for this, the fungus on my legs. So that's another good example of healthcare here. We, we, you deal directly with the doctors and his office visit cost me 50 bucks. I gave him $50 cash and he gave me a receipt for that. I have it here. And you know, I don't know, if I, you know, the rash is still there. I mean, this happened yesterday. It's, I, don't, I wouldn't say that I'm healed. Maybe I'll do another video in a couple of weeks on the progress, but the point of, of this video is to talk about how easy it is to get health care. And I didn't have to use the insurance. I didn't have to book an appointment and wait, you know, for weeks to see a dermatologist. If I was in Mesa, Arizona, I'd still be waiting for a return phone call from Thursday night. I'm going to leave a link to this doctor in the description below. Add this to your list of health care providers for when you come here. So you should have Dr. Garcia for general health, a good uh, primary practice physician. Uh, Dr. Juan Fernandez, an orthopedic surgeon for when you old people get here and break your hips, you'll need him. <laughs> and it probably happened to me too. And, and now you have a dermatologist and you also have a dentist, doc, top dental with Dr. Uh, uh, Victor Carino and his associate, Dr. Ortiz. So now you have a dermatologist. So keep all this in your notes. I'll have it here in, all the, in the description. I'll go ahead and list all these people and you'll be in good shape when you come here okay so that's it for this one thanks for watching thanks for you for uh subscribing to my channel for those of you that have as of today i'm a little over 800 subscribers i guess i should be excited about that i'm grateful to have them and i'm grateful for all, all of you that watch my videos so anyway have a great day from Mount Ecuador in the Manabi province on another beautiful day, sunny day here looking out the ocean. Ciao.